Hey everybody, and welcome to another installment of Pierce Mill Prep. I hope everybody's doing great this week. Considering the fact that the Dallas Cowboys lost in the playoffs at home last weekend. I'm doing great. Now here in the winter months, there almost isn't anything better than a good old bowl of chili. So today, we're making Pierce chili. So let's get to it. In today's recipe, we'll be using two pounds of ground turkey, two onions, three poblano peppers, four jalapeno peppers, five serrano peppers, an assortment of different seasonings, tomato sauce, black beans, kidney beans, mbasa, chipotle peppers, and my secret ingredient and safe word, pineapple. First, we need to cook the ground turkey up. Pour a little bit of olive oil in the skillet, and then two pounds of ground turkey, and a little garlic. Break up the turkey, and cook that up until it's nice and brown. Once the meat's all nice and brown, it's time to put it in the pot. Along with your serrano peppers, poblano peppers, your jalapeno peppers, all of your onions, and the pineapples, make sure to drain them or drink it. And all of your umbasa peppers. Heads up, these are pretty spicy. Two cans of diced tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, tomato sauce, can of Coca-Cola, three tablespoons of garlic, a cinnamon stick, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of cumin, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of dried basil, three bay leaves, fourth cup of chili powder, and then just to make sure that there's plenty of spices in it, I also throw a McCormick's Chili Original. And then the pineapples. And then stir all of that together. All right, and okay, all right, we'll squat down. Okay, all right, so all that's left to do now is just set the pressure cooker to go. So make sure the valve is ready to rock and roll, and we're gonna use the manual setting. Setting on the pressure cooker. Instant pot pressure cooker. And we're gonna adjust that to 25 minutes. Everything's good to go. And then it's going to beep. Gonna beep. Now all we gotta do is just wait. I have my stop clock right here. I'm just gonna start it for you guys. So you can, did I hit it? So you can see it right there. And we're gonna see just how long this pressure cooker takes on an entire bowl of chili. You can still do everything that I've done so far in a slow cooker instead. All you have to do is do everything that I've done, just when it's all stirred up in your slow cooker pot instead, set it for low for 10 hours. And then, I don't know, go to sleep, go to work, play around a miniature golf, cut down some trees, build a log cabin, ride a motorcycle, save a lady out of a burning building, save a kitten out of a tree. Ask that girl out you've been meaning to talk to. If that doesn't work, ask another one, ask another one. Ask another one. Whatever it is for 10 hours, do it. And when you come back, your chili will be ready. And the timer on the pressure cooker just went off and the timer on my phone is at 51 minutes. Looks like a pot of chili to me. Then just separate everything into your Tupperware. Top everything off with just a little bit of cilantro. And a little bit of cheddar cheese. And that's all there is to it. You should have ended up with eight servings of chili. The breakdown on this nutritionally should be about 390 calories, 30 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of fat. Financially, you remember the other video where I lost the receipt? This was on that receipt. So 
So I don't have an exact breakdown for you, but this is honestly an extremely cheap recipe to make. You should be able to make this entire thing for less than $20. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.